I grew up in Brampton. I've always been an artist, I've always been drawing. Really the first paid gig I ever got was drawing party flyers for people throwing house parties or parties somewhere in Brampton. You're not in the heart of Toronto, but you're a hop, skip, and a jump away. I'd take the trek to Toronto and started meeting people that had similar interests and you begin to network and just being a kid, doing what you love, and then you meet some other people that do what they love, and then next thing you know, it's 20, 30 years later and they're choreographing concerts around the world and you're directing music videos. Red Man I'll Be That was the first big break in America for me. Um, there's little breaks that get you closer to them, but that was one of the big ones where people were like, oh, all right, that was a definite big shift in everything. When you're a director, you're a work for hire person, so the work comes and you get hired and you do the job. Usher was a great collaborator. Drake is a great collaborator. Sierra, she was terrific to work with. Big Azalea is a great collaborator. When you're at that level, of artists, there's a reason why you're there. For any kid who wants to do anything, follow your interests and it will lead you to doing something that you're interested in. You just keep pursuing that, you'll you find your path on it. And that was my experience. And that's what I said at the Brampton Walk of Fame event, that you follow your interests and then let that take you where it's gonna take you. But following your interest is the key. Success in our world is often viewed as when you're a million when you're a millionaire when you have a mansion and a yacht and you're famous and oh now you are successful because you're rich and i say success is when you can pay your bills doing the thing you want to do but once you are now paying the rent or paying the mortgage and paying all the bills doing the thing that thing you're interested in you're successful it means a lot being recognized by your hometown so it was a it was an honor i, I was, it was a fun night and Cool to be part of that legacy, you know, that Walk of Fame will be around for decades. And some kid will look at my name and say, Director X, who's that? Or Director X, yeah, that guy, I love his work. Who knows which way it could go. But uh, it's cool to be part of that.